Well, hello everybody. So today I'm going to start off by priming my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm just going to spritz it all over my face in a nice even layer and then wait until it dries up a little bit and gets a little bit tacky before I start applying my foundation. I'm going to be using my True Match Lumi foundation today. I'm in the colors N3 and N4 mixed together. And then I'm going to be using my holy grail product of the moment, which is my MAC pigment in the color Naked. I'm actually going to show you guys how to use this three different ways in this video. I have been using this stuff non-stop. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix my foundation and the Naked pigment together on the back of my hand. If you watched my last video, you know that I mixed um, in a liquid highlighter with my foundation and it gave like a really nice, dewy, glowy look. What I love about mixing this in with my foundation is that it gives you like a really healthy glow but without making you look dewy. So this is really good for people that are more on the oily side because it's not going to give you that wet, like glowy look it's going to give you more of a natural glowing from within i'm so healthy and my skin is so awesome type look and then obviously you know you always got to take a coffee break in between everything because well coffee and then you know you got to laugh at parks and recreation great so now i'm going to move on and i'm just going to start to conceal my face i'm using my urban decay and naked concealer i am in the color light neutral right now i am just applying this all in my under eye area on my eyelids because i'm going to prime my eyelids using this concealer and then down the center of my face on the highest points. I'm then taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I am just pressing all of that in until it is nice and blended out. Remember, you never want to rub whenever you're using um, a sponge. You always want to press in. If you start rubbing, that's when you're going to get those really ugly streaks on your face. And if you just keep pressing, it's going to give you a really nice airbrushed finish which is what we all want. I mean, don't we all want to walk around looking like we're airbrushed 24 seven? And then I was like, wow, I'm so white. <laughs> then I moved forward. I am just going to press out any extra product that is under my eye that I already got into my little creases. Make sure that I get all that out. And then I'm just going to set underneath of my eyes using my Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder and my MAC Pro Emphasize Powder mixed together. You always want to make sure that you tap out any excess product before you set it with powder. If you just put on a bunch of cream on your face and start to set it with powder, what you're going to do is you're going to set the top layer of the cream, but underneath there's all this caked up creasy cream on the bottom. So you're going to get stuck with creases that you can't get rid of. It's basically what's going to end up happening. So again, buff out any extra product, then set with powder. And I always set using a pressing motion, not a like strip, uh, what's it called? Uh, a back and forth windshield wiper motion, you always want to set pressing in. That way, again, you go along with that full cool airbrush finish that you want to have. And then I almost forgot to set my eyelids. Like, how do you even forget that? That's like so important. You always want to make sure that you set your eyelids um, because number one, if you don't, you're going to get all of this creasiness from your primer, your concealer, whatever you're using to prime your eyes, all of your eyelids, and you always want to set down a nice powder base before you start applying eyeshadow because it just makes it a lot easier for the eyeshadows to blend uh, when you start applying them. Now I'm just picking up my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium Golden to set the rest of my face. Um, I'm just setting all the areas of my face that have not been set by powder yet. And that's it. Now I'm picking up my Urban Decay um, Gwen Stefani palette and I'm going to go in with the colors Zone and Anaheim. Every time I read that color, I feel like it says, ahem, like, ahem. Like, that's what it looks like it says, but whatever. Okay, so I'm mixing those two colors together with a fluffy brush, and I am just doing windshield wiper motions back and forth right in my crease. I am not putting this on my outer V, and I am not getting any of this on my eyelid. I'm just very lightly going back and forth on my crease until it's as dark as I want it to be. Super simple. Once I see that the brush isn't depositing very much product anymore, I'm just going to start to flick out on the edge so that it's a nice seamless blend. I just don't want the eyeshadow to just stop all of a sudden out of nowhere. I kind of want it to 
blend and like mesh into the rest of my makeup. So very lightly, just flicking it out so it looks nice and blended. Picking up this MAC pigment in the color Naked again, I'm just going to use a flat brush to start pressing that in all over my lid. Whenever I don't know what I want to do on my eyes or I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup or I just want to do something natural, I always grab this pigment. Like I said before, it just gives like this beautiful, natural, glowy finish without being dewy. It's just like a really pretty natural glow. I'm also going to use some of this on my brow bone to just highlight underneath of my eyebrows. Now picking up my Kat Von D shade and light palette, I'm just going to pick up this nice dark brown color. Um, you can use whatever dark brown you want, I just had this palette in front of me, so that's what I used. I'm using a little flat brush to just push that color into my lash line. I'm keeping it like on the outer half of my lash line. Once I see that the brush isn't depositing so much product anymore, I'm just using little back and forth motions to kind of smoke it out a little bit. You want to make sure that you keep... Um, that dark brown color very close to your lash line the closer you get to the inside of your eye so in the outer corners I'm smoking it out a little bit more than on the inner part of my eye if that makes sense to you guys if you smoke it out too much like in the middle of your eye it's just gonna kind of look dirty which we don't want I'm then gonna start to press in that same color all along my bottom lash line again only taking it in about halfway and then I'm gonna take a little fluffier brush to just blend that out to make it nice and soft Oh, damn, where'd those eyebrows come from? Hey. <laughs> okay, so now I'm picking up my bronzer from Makeup Forever, the Pro Bronze Fusion, and I am just bronzing up my face. I'm making like a fish face and going down um, my cheekbones, just following that natural line. And then I'm going around the perimeter of my face up against my hairline to just give a nice, even bronzed effect to my entire face. I'm now just going to use this Ofra Cosmetics eyeshadow in the color Truffle to contour my face. I am just following right underneath of my cheekbone. I'm making a nice sharp line. And then I'm going to just swish the little brush around on a um, on like a towel or usually my sweatpants. I did it on my sweatpants that day. Whatever. Um, to make sure there's not any product left on it and just doing little circular motions. I'm going to make sure that it's all nice and blended. I want my line to be sharp, but I don't want it to like cut people when they look at me, you know? It's just rude. So then I'm going to use my stifling brush to just make sure everything is nice and blended together as I always do. Using whatever is left over on that little brush that I used to contour, I am just going to define my jawline a little bit. Now using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam, I'm just going to pick up this color Mimosa and I'm going to spritz my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm just going to start to highlight the high points of my face just following my natural line of my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. I am then going to pick up that same naked pigment one more time and I'm just going to highlight the highest points of my face. So with the other highlighter, I kind of went all along my cheekbones. And now with this, I'm just going to put it on the highest point of my cheekbone to give a little bit of an extra glow. I use this pigment to just highlight my whole face by itself. Not my whole face, but like the high points of my face by itself. Um, I just wanted to use two highlighters to make it extra today. Um, and then I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes using that same pigment. Now I'm picking up this MAC blush in the color... Uh, modern Mandarin. Wow, brain fart. Modern Mandarin. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the apples of my cheeks. We don't have much color on our eyes or anywhere else on our face, so I just wanted to add a little something, some, you know, all up in there. I'm just going to blend it out with my stippling brush to make sure it's nice and blended. I then went in with these Cara lashes in number WSP, so I guess they're like the Wisp lashes. I had never used these before, but I love them. They're awesome. So I know I'm a little late, but the day that I filmed this video, I bought the um, Am Resi collection that she did with Lipland Cosmetics, her liquid lipstick line. I went to go buy one and somehow I bought all three. Go figure. I decided to use this coral color. It's called Brooklyn and oh my god this color guys just look at it. It is the perfect fuchsia pink red orange bright lipstick. The color is to die. It's amazing. It's beautiful. But, here's the kicker. 
I have super duper dry lips, so liquid lipsticks are always super dry on me. But this is a whole nother level. Literally five minutes of having it on and it was like crusting off. It was like, you know like when you put a face mask on your face and you can't move your face because it starts to like crack everywhere? That's what was happening with this. It was terrible. If you follow me on Snapchat, <laughs> I was talking about it. So yeah. Um, but I'm just so obsessed with the color. I love it so much. I have to find a way to make it work. So I will keep you guys updated on that. Well, anyways, this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. This is something I do all the time when I'm going out and I don't have a lot of time to get ready, but I want to still look nice and look put together. I'll always go for something like this, a soft eye with a bright lip. This naked pigment is my go-to. I use it so many different ways. I love it. It works on so many different skin tones. Um, so I hope this helps. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. And I am super excited to get something else up for you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.